error checks in data communication. So whenever we are transmitting the data, there are different type of errors which can occur like there, there can be data bit change due to the noise or because there is a difference between the transmission and the receiver clock, the data bit can be misunderstood. Okay, so now to check the errors in the data communication during the data transmission, uh, we can have an additional error checking information which can be sent uh, along with the data during the transmission. Okay, so here the receiver is going to check the received data against the error checking information and if there is a mismatch, that means if an error is detected, then the receiver can request for the retransmission of the data. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. So, if we talk about the different type of error checking methods, then we are having the error checking methods like parity check, checksum and cyclic redundancy check. Now, let us see how exactly these error checking methods are working. First, starting with the parity check. As we know, this parity check we are using uh, to ensure that there is an accurate data transmission. Okay, so what exactly we are going to do here is we are going to append the parity bit to the original data to create odd or even number of ones. Okay, so in the parity check we are going to have either even parity or the odd parity. So let me try uh, to explain the concept with the help of a, an example. So here I am assuming that the original data which we wanted to transfer is 101001. So this is the original data. Now if I wanted to add the parity bit to this one, okay, so I can use either the concept of odd parity or even parity. Now let us assume in case if I wanted to use even parity. Now here if, if you count the total number of ones in your data, it is odd number of ones since we are having only three ones. Okay, so what we have to do is add one additional one to the left side of your original data. Then your data after adding the even parity will become something like this. So now this the last bit is nothing but the parity bit or even parity bit. Okay. So when we talk about the odd parity. Okay. That means the total number of ones in the actual data should be odd in number. Now since here in the original data already we have odd number of ones. So the parity bit what we are going to add is zero. So that's why here I have written add 0 to the left hand side of the original data. So uh, if you are going to transmit the or I mean use the odd parity then our output will be something like this which I am going to transfer instead of this original data. And as we know it is uh, using to check the error. And uh, in particularly when we talk about the 8085 microprocessor, we are going to use the parity flag. Okay, this parity flag is going to check the parity information in each and every character. Okay, the next type of error checking method is checksum. So, this checksum is basically used when we are transferring block of data at a time. So, what is the basic idea of this checksum? So, the basic idea is same to check the error or to detect the error in the data communication. Okay, so let us assume uh, the data and let me try to explain this checksum with the help of an example. So, let me consider the set. Okay, so please do remember here we are going to transmit our data in the form of data set. Okay wherein I am having certain numbers. Okay, now here I am having a set of numbers like 7, 11, 12, 0 and 6 and I wanted to transfer this to the receiver. Okay, so here what happens is I am going to instead of sending these bits, I am going to send <coughs> the bit like this. Okay, wherein 
I'm sending the bits like 7, 11, 12, 0, 6 and 36. This 36 is the sum of the original data. If you add the set of numbers like 7 plus 11 plus 12 plus 0 plus 6, you are going to get 36. So instead of sending the original set, I am going to set this particular set of data wherein I am having one more additional uh, bit called which is the sum of the uh, actual data. And when we are going to transmit it at the receiver side, the receiver is going to compare the result with the sum. Okay, the person is going to compare this result with the whatever sum it is. Okay, if it is same, then it is the receiver is going to assume that there is no error and the receiver is going to accept the data whatever we have sent. And if there is a mismatch, okay, then uh, the data whatever has been sent will not be accepted and we can request the sender to resend the data. Now, what exactly is the checksum here? Okay. So as I told you, if there is an error, we can uh, request the sender to retransmit the data. Okay. And here, the job of the receiver, where he is going to compare the data with the sum. Okay. We are going to make the job of the receiver easy. Like, instead of sending the sum, like 36, I will send the complement. That means, the negative of sum. The negative of sum which is sent along with the data set is called as checksum. Okay, this checksum. So, by using the checksum, if I wanted to send the data, it will be something like this. Okay, so I am going to send the bits like 7, 11, 12, 0, 6 and minus 36. So, the receiver, what uh, he or she is going to do is, they are going to add the first 5 bits. Okay check the sum and when they are adding to the check sum the reminder should be zero if it is zero then it is assumed that there is no error okay and they are going to accept the data whatever has been transmitted and if there is a mismatch if there is an output of non-zero number then we are considering that there is certain kind of error detected and we can ask the sender to retransmit the data Okay, this is about the error, second error checking method called check sum. Hope you have understood. Then the third one comes in the form of cyclic redundancy check. It is also an error detecting code which is used to detect accidental change to the raw data.